Hey everybody, it's Mars! Um, how is everybody doing? I just got out of work and I decided I would vlog. I really have nothing to vlog about, but I'll vlog. Um, uh, I feel like I had a good hair day. It's like a poofy. I got a lot of compliments on it. Even though it's a mess. I got this shirt and I decided to wear it today. It's, I call it my confrontational unicorn. It's like, you want some of this? And look at his face. He's like, what's up? <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so I guess I'll make this into a paranormal vlog. Um, lately, I've been cleaning up and I opened up one of my closets. And it's usually when I had the people come over to do the paranormal investigation they picked up a lot of orbs and stuff in that closet so I usually keep it closed and I keep a dark um, fabric covering up my mirrors and that made a huge difference um, and I know it sounds ridiculous but w uh, mirrors are like a doorway so that they can enter into our area into our world I guess um, but yeah they're like a doorway so I cover up the mirrors and I'm thinking I'm moving out the mirror that I have in there but anyways, um, so I opened up the closet and I moved some stuff around and my activity has increased. Before I was fine, but now I'm starting to feel like if I lay in my bed and Bento, my dog, isn't with me, I start to feel somebody behind me, like if they're just like before, but not as intense to where it feels like someone's laying behind you and you can feel like the pressure of someone touching your shoulder and your leg. Um, so I'll move and it goes away, but I've been seeing shadows like I take a shower with I live alone So I have my door open and I put the shower curtain halfway so I can keep an eye on my dog and Also avoid the water from coming out of the shower So I was showering and I checked to see how she was doing and I just saw a shadow go like this Right across the, the bathroom door outside of my hallway and I was like hello and then my dog started to growl and I was just like, creepy. But yeah, there's really that. I've been hearing like whispering, like if somebody's talking behind me and then feeling that in my bed. But I try not to pay too much attention to it because if I do, then that's usually how it escalates. If you give it the attention that it wants, then it'll more it's either if you ignore it then they'll do as much as they can to get your attention which is how it started in the first place um, it was almost like a kid playing with me like the more the more I would listen to it then the more it would try to scare me but yeah and my dog's been staring at the walls barking again but that's it oh in my kitchen um, I like when I go smoke a cigarette I smoke a cigarette in my back patio, but I'm technically inside with the door open. And behind me, I always hear like somebody's knocking on, I have like this thing where, it's kind of like a mini bar, where you can hang your wine glasses and I have bottles organized and stuff and then it's got racks underneath. Um, it always sounds like somebody's going like this. And I'm like, okay why do I hear knocking or I'll hear scratching but and I say that there's not that much activity but really all of that is kind of normal here <laughs> but um, I'm not getting the growling or the hearing breath in my ear that was the creepiest but before it used to be really where it felt like I'd have to pull just to get rid of that that feeling of somebody holding on to you but now it's just kind of like a like if somebody's just going like this and then moving the blankets like this, but yeah. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this paranormal update. It doesn't really sound <clears throat> that eventful, but I know some guys, some of you guys were requesting it, and I figured I'd show you a t-shirt in my hair today. My hair is a messy buffon. Anyways, so I'm still knitting, doing all that shit like an old lady. I need a rocking chair. A rocking chair. But yeah, so I hope you guys are having a great evening 
Um, if you really like paranormal stuff, I have a friend that has um, a blog that's called Hells Yeah Creepy Shit. Dot com. I might put a link below if I can find it, but also, I'm trying to think, Graveyard Girl has some really good paranormal videos, but from back in the day, she hasn't really done anything lately. But yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe if you'd like. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Konnichiwa. And other than that, you guys have a great night. Bye. Wahaha. <laughs>